All right, welcome mm. back. Yeah. Let me just say a big happy birthday to Reverend Stephen Yenusom Wengam. Mm. Today mm. is his birthday. Oh, yes. Um, yes, the, um, on Friday, Friday and Sunday, there's been different celebratory services, you know, in honor of him. But today is the birthday proper. Mm. So mm. happy, happy birthday to you. And to our very own Inkunim. Abraham Danso, happy birthday to you as well. Yeah, I realize that every time I wait to the end of the show to give the happy birthdays, mm. I end up forgetting. Mm. So no, today I'm is Neo Kai's birthday as, as well. well. Yeah, so Neo Kai and Pastor birthday Wengam mates. are birthday well, yeah. mates. Yeah. And on Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday, we were at the, the launch. Um, at the launch at mm. Alisa Hotel, Tema. Tema. No, that Alisa is beautiful. But, you know, so we <laughs> we outdoored the eighth album mm. of Neo Kai Revealing Jesus. Now you should find that album mm. you should find that album and in fact this morning i think neo kai is having a screening um okay. session As with kolibu okay. you know at one of the oh okay chilling okay. beds okay. something okay. something okay. yeah so okay. it's happening yeah. the health screening yeah. is going on mm. but amazing album beautiful eight tracks you know Fantastic. on there just just find the album Fantastic. revealing jesus and um you 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 listen to it and be blessed <laughs> yeah but for now you know Whilst we'll be doing, um, talking about Neo Kai and uh, Pastor Wenga, yeah. you know, um, those who feed us spiritually, we are also very mindful with what we consume yeah. on the physical. Mm. And that is why all it's the important. time it's important to check our nutrition, mm. what we are consuming. So Akosia Yadom is here. Um, Konedu Yadom, let me give your Konedu back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Akosia is a state registered nutritionist. And this morning we are talking healthy oils. You know, we often hear that it's not too good to consume oils, mm. it's not this, it's that, mm. uh, you know. But there are healthy ones, and yeah. that is why Akosia is here. Akosia, Firma. take us away. <laughs> so healthy oils, um, mm. oils are important. Let me start off, just like Firma said, because in our part of the world, sometimes because we are saying, okay, consuming this comes with that, mm -hmm. and so people mm -hmm. tend to move away from it. And sometimes, when they see you, the professional, and you're trying to plan this, they are like, hey, you doctor, we see my mindy way. Mm. They said yeah. I shouldn't eat this. But then it's because people are stubborn. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you tell them, oh, cut down on this, because you didn't tell them how much means less mm -hmm. or how much means more then it's like oh if i'm doing five and you are saying i should cut down maybe the three is fine yeah. but for you know your body just need two mm -hmm. so that is what we need to we need to know and so i will quickly talk about the fact that there are advantages and disadvantages mm -hmm. now there are clues for you to know when you are trying to get oils mm -hmm. now oil should have less than four grams of saturated fat okay and so whatever you are picking as oils, mm. make sure you lift the, the oil, read the nutritional labels mm -hmm. to know the amount of trans fats that sit in the oil you are going to consume. Mm. But there are some of them clearly by looking at how they are even presented. It should tell you that there is a lot of saturated fats in there. For instance, they put it in these bottles and then Imokola, they are sitting on the shelves. Yeah. And you can see this solidification yeah. happening mm -hmm. at yeah. the bottom mm -hmm. of this oil. It should tell you, and most of them, the gallons are yellow. <laughs> so I'm yeah. giving you a clue. Should tell you that whatever you are consuming may not be healthy for you. Mm. So one, look for less than four grams of saturated okay. fat. And that is clearly spelled out when you read the labels. And so if it comes with no labels, then you don't even have to choose it in the first place. Mm. Because but when you get to the market, you know, they put the oils in some bottles that comes with no yeah, label, no, label, no yeah, nothing. Yeah. You so know? it means that at the end of the day, it was the duty of the policy maker to make sure it doesn't even come into the market in the, in the first place. Mm. Because whatever I am consuming, I should know. This mm. milk, when you pick it, it tells you yeah. whatever sits in there. And so if you are having something on the market and whatever sits here, I have no idea about it. It is a no-no mm. for you as a consumer to even pick it up. And if you don't even understand the language, yeah. our official language is English. Yes. So don't go and bring me anything in anything that I can't understand. You shouldn't also choose it. So aside the four grams, less than four grams mm -hmm. of um, the fats, every oil has a shimmering point and then a smoking point okay now when it comes to the shimmering point you realize that after boiling oil for some time or leaving it on fire it, you begin to see this shiny yeah thing uh -huh. on uh -huh. the surface yeah. that's yeah. the shimmering point 
it moves from shimmering point to smoking point. That's where you start seeing the smoke we'll come yeah. coming out. Yeah. And we have a range. That one too, sometimes if you are using good oils, you will see the smoking point or that information uh -huh. clearly written Be there. Okay. So we have 3 to 5 Fahrenheit up to 520 Fahrenheit. So mm. anything between that range should let you know that, okay, whatever oil I am purchasing mm. is good. And we have four great oils. Olive oil comes with that. It has 176 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. of um, smoking point, mm. which makes it very safe because okay. it is within the range. As far as the smoking point and the shimmering point, Prima, you are getting confused, you get that. No, but, but my point is, so this looks like a chemistry kind of exercise to go through. But it's still, so you're going to buy stuff, you know, yeah. and you have to, like, take time have to go through. No, so what it is is that there are every, like she said, every bottle that is properly labeled. Yeah. Don't buy oil that doesn't have proper okay. details. No, I get you. I you get know, you. That's the first thing. But then when you look at the details, it comes. what does it mean? Th that's my issue. You, you know, because it's this, this is what you are saying beautifully here, you know. By the time we finish the show, <laughs> people have forgotten that, okay, so it's 270 something, something, yeah, something. 170 something. So I'm going to buy um, stuff at the supermarket. I'm checking the information on the milk. You know, you might as well just go in the morning <laughs> and carry your notebook and your purse, knowing that. No, so dude, I, I, I don't know. You, so I I gave you the first clue mm -hmm. as to it having less than four grams yeah. as far as trans fat. Mm -hmm. And that one, any properly labeled oil mm -hmm. will have it spelled out. So we have trans fat. We have the amount of every single nutrient mm. sitting there mm -hmm. specifically. And so it should help you know that, okay, this one has the less than. So some can even have zero trans fat. Okay. One trans fat okay so that information if you can't keep it, it it's about your health so i think that no, i get this you. is something you but should keep yes okay so in a case where it's not about the labeling or the information on the label but what is mm. sitting can there? you yeah, what is sitting there because not everybody can read but sometimes people understand what we are saying i, saw, I spoke but they also can't about the fact that some of the oils sitting on the shelf with no even labels you can clearly see that there are this solidification yeah happening mm -hmm. at the bottom so i bought this cooking oil i don't have money to go and buy what's sitting on the shelf mm -hmm. properly labeled yeah. but then there's something they've put into this clear container sometimes mm -hmm. even in pants yeah and you can clearly see yeah. that yeah, so, so i want us to look at more of those you know something that when you see you can tell that this is a no-go area just for people who can't read or uh, and also for those who can read but will not even understand what you know reading. what they are reading okay you can also um, choose where to buy your groceries mm -hmm. for instance there are people who can go to max Mart or any bigger supermarket to get their groceries but there are some other people getting it in their neighborhood but they trust where it is coming from yeah. so if you trust where it is coming from i know that if i come to you that i need olive oil i am definitely getting olive oil yeah. if i come to you and i tell you i want vegetable oil i know that i'm getting vegetable oil i always say that when it comes to matters of your your health aside the fact that you want to think about affordabilities mm -hmm. when it gets there and you have to come it becomes a clinical concern you have money to pay of course. and so i believe that if you can afford at a point i wanted it to always be about the fact that it is localized but mm -hmm. then we have people who can also afford the, afford the sesame um, seed oil yeah. Yeah. and olive oil exactly. so mm -hmm. i'm talking about olive oil avocado oil sesame oil safflower oil mm -hmm. or saf yes yeah, safflower oil if you can afford them they are the four greatest mm -hmm. as far as um the conversation we are mm -hmm. having here is concerned but then if you're somebody who goes to the market and then because course um you have certain financial constraints you'd have to make you with whatever they've tied in that proper or whatever is sitting in that bottle one make sure that it doesn't have those solids mm -hmm. at the base of it because sometimes if it's cooking oil and i said that it comes mostly in the yellow bottles something like coconut oil it is very affordable mm -hmm. but then i would choose coconut oil over um, whatever I was ask the about yellow coconut one. oil it's, it's as good. well, you know, because most of the time with coconut oil, coconut oil is very expensive yes. when you're buying from the supermarket. Yes. But we have this local, local. women in That's our society who Ooh. really yeah. I will, I, no matter if I get the chance to, and be, that doesn't come with a label, no. You know, so that was why I, I was asking, if, yes, that. I, I get you. If I am fortunate to be in the north mm -hmm. 
or in boga and i want shea butter no matter how we branded your shea butter here is yeah, i would choose that, that one because i know where it is coming from like i said if you know where it is the coming sauce. from mm, then mm. i can trust it because there are people who are using coconut oil there are people who are using correct shea butter mm -hmm. oils to make their foods yeah. and it is safer but then when it comes to people with certain health issues mm. obviously i will expect you to do more and try to afford what you can read yeah. mm. because then you also have other health issues like hypertension or cardiovascular issues heart diseases that you are looking at mm. and so if you have a medical condition the four oils i <coughs> mentioned mm. should help you or you that is what you should look up to and so yeah. that is it I, I like, um, you know, the one we looked at, the four great oils, yeah. right? The four great oils, one of the things that is on there is the issue of the temperature. Yes. The temperature for the smoking point. Yes. Because smoking point is, is, a, very, is a very important indicator, yes. mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's yeah. one of the things that you talk to us about, the whole cancer causing you know, um, nature of certain oils. When so for my, we would need them to really pay attention yeah. to the smoking point because so you see, they, look at the temperature that's the point at which where it starts issues. to smoke, mm -hmm. right? One, 168 degrees, which is very, very, very hot, right? Yeah. Hot. The likelihood of you getting there, it means that it will go for a while before it will, you have to heat the it up for a long time <laughs> before it gets there, Yeah, yeah. You know, which but, makes but it safer. Yes, so for instance, you can't measure yeah. that we are now at maybe yeah, 100 <laughs> degrees, mm -hmm. you know, so come mm -hmm. and do this. Mm -hmm. So, for, okay, so I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. I put my oil on fire. At what point shouldn't I get to maybe the smoking point or what do I have if to it starts tell? Smoking, do you, you get it? Trouble. Ex so, for instance, when you put it on in about, if, if your fire is that, you know, hot, in, in less than a minute, in less than two minutes, or maybe after 30 seconds, put a slice of onion inside to check. You know, like practical things that, because when it gets to measurements, when mm. you do that, look, in the kitchen, we, 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 we do stuff in the kitchen. But you know, we have a way wrong. of. It is wrong for you to wait for your oil to get hot. In and, in and our homes, you, we put the onions in when the, the oil is hot. So you hear yeah. it. Uh -huh. No, you don't have to wait so, for so it. So to these get are there. some of the things that. I want to learn. You don't you know, have to wait exactly. for it to get there. So don't wait for it to become too hot that it's working because you can't be measuring, okay, so we are at 50 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. We, we are only 100. giving you the clues yeah. because we know that once you are choosing olive oil, you can be assured of what figure we have mm -hmm. On the on the screen once you are using avocado oil this is what you are getting mm -hmm. we are giving you reasons because some of these oils are expensive yeah. and so I should be able to give you reasons why I need you to choose these sure. ones because yeah. they are within a certain mm -hmm. range yeah. but then like I told you the one on the market in that yellow container or cocoa four gallon that one sometimes you have it solidifying at the bottom mm. and most of the, pe the people we have the buff loaves we enjoy they would have to wait for it to get to where we don't need it to get to mm -hmm. before we start even putting the food in in the yeah. first place so it is responsible for the the health issues we have mm -hmm. around like cancers mm -hmm. just like who was building his point yeah. um, um too so if you can afford it why not if you can't too we've given you simple clues granite oil Mm -hmm. It's one alternative that is also good. Sometimes it's not just about the commodity we are consuming. Mm -hmm. It's about how much we are putting yeah. in there. You are frying your eggs and then you are, you are just pouring this oil. Mm -hmm. What happened to your teaspoon? <laughs> what happened to your tablespoon? Mm -hmm. When it comes to frying, even my stews, I measure the oils. Mm -hmm. But then we are fond of pouring. And so frying just two eggs and you have oils that can fry like for me five eggs mm -hmm. that is where we are trying to build the point to mm -hmm. because in as much as we are trying to say eat or consume olive oil Firma, you can have the money but sometimes you may come and not even find the oil you are mm -hmm. looking for so maybe i have to make deal with the ones she's saying mm -hmm. iron's good mm -hmm. how much of it exactly. can i have so mm -hmm. that i don't end up putting mm -hmm. myself in that in position yeah. you yeah. don't also have to wait for it to get to even the shimmering point okay. and so the clue is that mm -hmm. once you realize that it is beginning to shim or you are mm -hmm. having that shimmering thing happening it's about time you put that thing in okay. but for me my stews i put the onions in the oil when it hasn't even started to cook mm -hmm. before i do my stews yeah. because i don't want it to get to that smoking point mm -hmm. where okay. it becomes cancerous or it has health mm -hmm. issues accompanying now what it. about those who so i used um, fresh oil to fry fish you know today 
Can I use it again tomorrow to fry something else? Very, it's one of the tips for using cooking oil. It is not advisable. Okay. So the kale oils we are enjoying, that oil started Monday. It's going for the whole of September. <laughs> and so it, it, it's, it's, it's something yeah, of concern. You don't dangerous. have to repeat it. So even when it comes to the American Heart um, Association, some of the clues they give for using oil is that Make sure you use what you can use for today. Mm. Where in some families they have this mm. pot where kele wole goes in, mm. fish goes in, mm. chicken goes in. So if I know that, okay, I am frying this quantity, I can as well go, as far as my groceries are concerned, pick the smaller bottles. Mm. So that after emptying that smaller bottle, wastage is cut short because mm. oils can easily go rancid. Mm. Yeah. Now, when you are using oil the wrong way, Hmm. What are the dangers? Now, you can raise um, your blood pressure levels. And so that's how the cardiovascular issues happens. Once your blood um, pressure levels um, are rising, you, you influence even on your LDL cholesterol. That is the bad cholesterol. Now, when the bad cholesterol enters, it's like, I want to be the boss. So mm. HDL, mm -hmm. stay somewhere. And the H HDL is the good cholesterol. We need cholesterol to survive. <laughs> So the body naturally makes it. But then when the bad one enters, it's mm. like, um, okay, you've allowed a foreigner enters. And it's like, I have 50. This foreigner is coming with 70. I'm overpowered. Yeah. So it's coming mm. to take over. Mm -hmm. So once you are consuming the wrong oils, that's what it does. And once LDL cholesterol is affected, it's a reason why you have people being borderline for hyperlipidemia or you have cholesterol issues and then it can lead to atherosclerosis where you have your arteries being hardening mm. and so once you experience that okay there are people that's how hot um, blood pressure happens mm. anyway your blood pressure levels keep spiking mm. and sometimes you've ruled out stress you've ruled out certain factors mm. but then you still realize that okay these are happenings if you're a margarine person like myself if you're an oil person then you should be considering some of these things mm. and then heart attacks can happen and then once cardiovascular health is involved mm. it can lead also to stroke mm. wow hmm. thank you um Akusia, how do people get in touch with you with okay so you can follow me on instagram i'll post this and um, at the nutritionist Akusia, and then Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Nutritionist Akusia. You can WhatsApp me on 0243-350206. And I'll post some of the bad oils. I didn't want to talk about it so that because people come and beat you. Yeah. <coughs> right. Thank you Fantastic. very much, Akusia. Always a pleasure. Okay. So you're still watching um, Breakfast Daily here on City TV. Let's take a